For this video review, we're going to take a look at some of the accessories from Grid Iron Studios. So we have a SPAS-12 shotgun and a ammunition bandolier. So let's take this out of packaging. So we still have some Grid Iron stuff on the way, but for the meantime, let us take a look at this SPAS-12 shotgun, 12 gauge shotgun and the ammunition bandolier so this is around the 12 dollar mark and this is the details of this spas 12. so this area over here the stack is supposed to be those four holes is supposed to be uh, filled up with 12 gauge ammunition rounds but they are empty and this stock that's a foldable stock it's um, molded onto the SPAS 12 shotgun so that is something that you cannot unfold thickness and with regards to density so just the same thing that I have experienced with other grid iron studios weapons and with regards to the scale let's see whether this thing is going to fit nicely with the intended character that I intend to pair this with which is my custom Lieutenant Falcon action figure so let's take a look at the ammunition bandolier so this is the details so nicely painted now let's take the action figure that i intend to pair this with so dwayne the rock johnson is now happy that he has ammunition to feed his 60 caliber machine gun so this is my version a work in progress of my declassified series lieutenant falcon so the weapon that I first assigned to him was a stockless shotgun, something similar to Flint because this was still on the way. So right now it is sporting this AA-12 automatic 12 gauge shotgun. Okay, so let's discuss briefly the build. So the base body is Sergeant Stalker. The head unit is going to come from um, Snake Eyes Origins. Snake Eyes figure so the extra head scalp the berry is going to come from sergeant stalker the belt is going to come from jejo classified series outback so with the backpack harness now the backpack comes from recondo and the antenna that is from my one is to six scale military action figure that because i am also into building my own one is to six scale military action figures okay so from the aa12 so let's see whether this lieutenant falcon my version of lieutenant falcon is going to look better with a spas 12. so iconic shotgun this spas 12 looks good is a majority is a movie prop especially for the first terminator movie but it actually is a very <laughs> problematic weapon system looks good but is a problematic 12 gauge shotgun okay so let's see whether this is going to be a nice fit. now the Hasbro G.I. Joe classified series lieutenant falcon is going to come with a spas 12 shotgun so actually it's the same mold as this now that shotgun as you could see or possibly have seen with other reviewers in germany or in um, other countries who already have their fa uh, fal falcons on board their collection the weapon system is just way too bent but and uh, actually the details quite good but this is this looks much better this past 12 but with regards to scale this is where it suffers as you could see um it is still quite on the big side so scaling with um pairing it with a um classified series action figure it looks quite small because of the folded stock so it actually um, shortens the weapon system 
but with regards to the heft or the bulk of these past 12 um it's it really looks still very big for this action figure okay so actually this is the thing that i have noticed with grid iron studios uh, weapons with regards to scaling their scale of weapons is much more on the big side so if you would pair two action figures classified series with a marvel legends classified series with a NECA figure which i'm going to show right now you would understand what i am talking about so let's bring in the other figures that i have on board sporting grid iron studios weapons but it's going to be of course a dependent on you if you're going to like this look or not so let's take the other figures and compare it with this so let us first take a look at two figures i have on board so these are my two versions or declassified series outback action figures so one in, in sh uh, white shirt and the other tiger force so this action figure sports 100 percent gi joe classified series parts even if they are kit bashed parts this however is a different thing so from the neck down that is marvel legends thor ragnarok action figure the thor love and thunder ragnarok figure so i just changed the head unit to this head unit so actually the uh, outback head unit is quite big that it really fits this thor figure nicely now with regards to scale i let him use this um, pump action shotgun the one with a stack which i originally bought for this lieutenant falcon action figure because of course the lieutenant falcon sports that kind of shotgun and the thing that i did actually with this shotgun was to um shorten the barrel a bit by about two centimeters but as you could see it still fits a marvel legends action figure so let's take this weapon system now and transfer it to this lieutenant falcon and we're going to pair this with this outback figure okay so we swapped weapon systems so this lieutenant falcon now sports a 12 gauge shotgun with a stack this outback figure sporting a marvel legends body is ho holding a past 12 or a shotgun with a foldable stack so as you could see the um, scale is just still way too big so for this action figure it is still just way too big but with regards to this action figure if he holds on to this spas 12 shotgun it is just nice actually the proportion is just right but if it comes to this figure it is just still um, the proportions with regards to thickness of the weapon system it's still too big how do i know well i used to compete in three gun competition so that's going to be pistol shotgun and rifle so i know my stuff with regards to scaling i know that this um weapon systems even if grid iron stuff they really look good um the details are really nice but with regards to scaling with a gi joe classified series action figure it is not to scale with a gi joe classified series action figure it's more for a marvel legends or let's take in another figure that i have so this figure NECA figure sports another grid iron weapon system so i also bought this several months ago with the intention of pairing this with my gang-ho action figure but with regards to scale it is just way too big for a gang-ho action figure but if you're going to pair it with this NECA terminator arnold t800 it really fits the figure like a glove 
So with regards to sizing this action figure now sports back AAA12 automatic shotgun because with regards to how the scale of the weapon system to the figure is it is just right i know the aa12 is a still a very big chunky weapon but with regards to how this Val action force valover's weapons stands with this gi joe classified series action figure it's a nice combination or a fit so i hope this serves as a guide or enlightens your purchase with regards to Grid Iron Studio stuff and Action Force Valover's stuff. So personally, I gravitate towards Action Force Valover's with G.I. Joe Classified Series action figures because of the scale. But if I'm going to arm bigger figures, just for example, these two guys, a Marvel Legends Outback, and a NECA um, Terminator T-800 then it's going to be Grid Iron Studios stuff so if you like this video like comment and subscribe to help me grow my channel and see you on the next action figure or custom action figure review